Hi everyone, so final video review for this week is for my paperback read which is Love's Portrait by Anna Lana. Uh, for any of you that didn't see the introduction video, here's a quick look at what the book looks like but you can still catch that on my YouTube channel or on my blog um, so please go and check that out if you want a really good look at the paperback. If you want to check out my review, I have just posted that so if you're on YouTube there is a link in the description below and if you're on Facebook or on my blog then there is a link within the post. And this is the video review, so Love's Portrait by Anna Lana. Uh, I have had this paperback since I went to the Bold Strokes Book Festival in 2019. I don't know why I've waited so long to read it because it was so beautifully romantic. This is a book to fall in love with. Um, so Molly is a curator um, at, at, at uh, a local museum and she's really excited for the prospect of making it a more diverse museum. Um, so Upon an encounter with um, Georgina Wright, who is quite the mysterious benefactor of the museum, uh, Molly finds herself kind of swept away in the wonderful world of discovering the meaning between a piece of artwork, um, a portrait uh, belonging to Georgina's late father, uh, but also in discovering the real Georgina uh, that so many don't get to see. And um, upon discovering who is in this beloved portrait and who the real artist is, uh, Molly is determined to honour the memory of the women and uh, the meaning behind it all. Uh, but she can't do it alone. She needs Georgina's help. And um, that's what's with, with this was so sweet and so lovely and cute and romantic. And I just got so lost in the romantic um, side of it you know the romance inside the romance um that i was genuinely in love with the story and completely blown away by the end um this is the type of story where you're crying and it's all happy tears because it's so heartbreakingly beautiful but it's so lovely at the same time um and it's only the second story i've read by anna lana um but i am in awe of her ability uh, to capture such longing and passion and love and she's done such an amazing job in Love's Portrait of capturing those things um, to the point that you as the reader felt completely connected to them um, and it affected how you were emotionally feeling throughout the book. Um, it was truly beautiful um, even the more tragic elements um, and I longed to learn that there was happiness and there was, there was happiness, but there was this tinge of sadness which is needed for all great romance. Um, and I adored every second. Um, I was very much immersed in the story to the point that I just, oh, I can put it down. Um, Molly and Georgina, they, they were just wonderful. Um, from their first awkward moment, because Georgina is quite the ice queeny type, um, to sort of the angst filled. Um, you know meetings that continue to happen and then their acquaintance because it was really an acquaintance you can't really call it a friendship um, an acquaintance sort of blossoming into a friendship and then more so their story was the epitome of um great art itself i mean if this was a painting it'd be it'd be so amazing um almost so that like i say it could be the most wonderful painting of all and i adored the whole premise um and then working together but also um they were unsure of one another for quite a while and their feelings and what it all meant because there was this complete uncertainty surrounding both of them um, they were really in the moment and they got very carried away um, by the wonder and I think a lot of that was sparked because Molly's very infectious as a character she's just so infectious she will really get under your skin and then you'll be you'll be excited um, I, I couldn't help myself I was so excited with her for her and I was also anxious when she was, uh, nervous when she was and um, I was sad when she was uncovering the truth about Josephine and Edith and the portrait and learning all that sort of past history of Georgina's family and it was really quite the connection, it was something very strong um, to feel that sort of connection with a character and really empathise and sympathise and but just feel like you know that's how you would react in the moment too. She was just such a passionate but infectious character. And um, it, the same went for Georgina, really. Uh, she was carrying around so much heavy baggage. Um, and just being around Molly helped her to temporarily forget and just get carried away in the moment too. She, just, she had those moments where she was like a completely different character. Um, but just moments, just moments until she fully let herself embrace everything that sort of Molly brought out in her. And 
it was just really beautiful really romantic and the whole story um you know i would love to see more of molly and georgina even though we saw quite a bit of them here um but i would love to see them more in future but i, I would also um would like to see more of the other romance explaining the story like i say it's a romance within a romance because you've got molly and georgina falling in love um so very rightly they're so perfect for one another um whilst they are uncovering the truth about this gorgeous portrait of josephine who had a connection a relationship with edith that we're only seeing parts of because they can only go on what they've got but i would love to have a full story about josephine and edith and what happened between them and everything um it would be amazing and i really hope anna will do that in the future because it would just be so perfect to accompany the glimpses that happened inside love's portrait because uh, they just weren't enough for me and i just really want to know i want to know so much more about josephine josephine and edith which i'm sure molly would too um so i'd love their story um it, because molly was so excited by their story i'm so excited by their story and I just, I don't think my words can, they just cannot express enough how wonderful this story really is. Um, it was a, it was an amazing experience to read, um, but it's definitely a romance that I recommend for everyone. Um, it's perfect. Even if you don't particularly like romance stories, I think there's just an element about this book that you will absolutely love and therefore you, you will, you will change your mind because uh, it's not. I wouldn't say it's a typical romance, but I absolutely loved, I absolutely adored everything about it. The dynamics, the story, everything. There was something very unique in there and I just really loved it. It's one of those books that I will pick up and read time and time again. Um, absolutely loved it and I hope you will too. So I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of Love's Portrait by Anna Lana, which I hope you will. Um, if you've read Love's Portrait, I would love to hear your thoughts on it, so please comment below, please let me know what you thought. Um, and if you haven't read it yet, but it's on you to be read list, you're planning on reading it, or you're thinking, I really must read that book, uh, again, please comment below, because it's always great to hear what you're reading. And if you do read it, I hope you love it. Bye.